A very special welcome to NUI Galway on this day 14 of the 2010 Galway Science and Technology Festival. <coughs> on the 12th of October in the Aula Maxima, Mr. Bill Hawkins, uh, Chairman and CEO of the Medtronic Corporation, launched this festival. Uh, Medtronic have for many years been a major sponsor of this festival and indeed are a major employer in the Galway area, employing in excess of 2,000 people. Over the past two weeks, 120 schools have been very actively involved in a series of different activities that have included uh, exhibitions coming to your school, your school, your school, opportunities for your school, your teachers uh, to arrange to come and visit different laboratories here at NUI Galway, uh, at GMIT to see a lot of the new research that's being undertaken here at the highest levels. Uh, I'm delighted to be here today so that we can consider the contribution of education and business to meeting the ambitious goal of transforming the European Union into an innovation union. Research and innovation, as I'm sure everybody by now knows, are at the heart of Europe's political and economic agenda. They're the main drivers to improving Europe's economy and delivering core commitments of the Europe 2020 strategy, which was approved by the member states earlier this year. Europe needs more innovation so that bright ideas can be turned into new products and services that create, create the growth and jobs and that help address European and global societal challenges. For this, we need more and better educated researchers, which means that we need to ensure that enough young people are studying maths, science and technological subjects in our schools and universities. And that, I think, is a, is a thought of, I think it's a, it's a validation of the interest in the city in engineering and science. I think it's, a, it's thanks to the commitment of a lot of people in the university, in GMIT, in industry, in the local authorities, in the various public services, and especially the commitment of Noel Tracy, who did a tremendous job over many, many years to continue to support this festival. There's been a tremendous increase in the numbers of people applying for engineering courses and science courses. In the past two years, a 30% increase in first preference for engineering programs, a 10% increase in first preference for science programs. A lot of that, I think, arising from a lot of work being done by the university, by colleagues in the science and engineering colleges who go out into schools and promote these programs my colleagues who create innovative programs which respond to the needs of our industrial base, programs which are relevant to the needs of our industrial base. And we need those graduates if we are to produce the engineers and the scientists who in turn will produce the products and the services which will lead to exports and lead to jobs in our economy. And, speaking and I believe that, Commissioner, all you have to do is look at this region. We have a model here in this region through the Science and Technology Festival where there's massive cooperation and collaboration between the institutions in UIG, GMIS, and the other educational institutions and all of the schools and the teachers, the parents, and particularly the massive generosity of the corporate sector, led by uh, Medtronic and Jerry and all his team and all of the other great people that the President has already alluded to. And I'm not going to name them here this morning. We're deeply, deeply grateful to each and every one of you for your constant commitment, for the resources that you provide, and for the opportunities that you create. We're uh, this committee uh, has been very, very busy indeed with uh, over 120 schools making arrangements for scientific exhibitions to visit their schools, for mentors to go from companies like Thermo King, like Medtronic, to go visit schools to share with teachers and pupils their experience of second level education, third level education, and from NUI Galway and GMIT to find their way into industry and to talk about the jobs they do today from designing, developing, and building new products that are shipped all over the world. And I look around and I see, and I had a preview this morning of what's inside and what's down here. And this is about fun, it's about curiosity, it's about inquiring minds, it's about explaining to all the boys and girls that are here what science is about, 
what you can find out about it, what it helps you with in your future education. And that I you're going to see as you walk around here today. Companies investing in Ireland, more companies expanding throughout Ireland, exports increasing in Ireland, and wanting what we want, young people to get involved in research, science, technology, maths, engineering. That's where the jobs are. If the policy that the European Commission is putting forward that I have responsibility for is going to create this new innovative economy in Europe, then the boys and girls, the young men and women that are here today, and most particularly their most influential mentors, their parents, will need to realise that's where the jobs are going to be in the future. They're going to be in science, in technology, in engineering, and most particularly in innovation. Medtronic, we've been involved in supporting this festival for the last 12 years, and it's something that certainly is very dear to our hearts. Uh, these are tough economic times, companies are cutting budgets, but at the start of this year when we put our budget together, the one thing we're steadfast about, we were not going to cut the budget for this festival. We were going to continue to sponsor this festival. This is really, really important. Uh, science and technology and developing an interest in our youth in science and technology. Medtronic today, we, we employ 43,000 people all over the world, 2,000 here in Galway. Those jobs would not be here without the power of science and technology and the engineers and scientists we have here. That's why it's so important uh, uh, for us. This festival is basically a statement about modern Ireland, investing in education as the Commissioner has referred to, investing in institutions, investing in opportunities. And what we have in this country is the communication, the collaboration and the cooperation that has bring us brought us from a situation in 1987 where we had just a mere 700,000 people employed in our country to today where we have 1.7 million people employed.